Have you ever wondered what the difference between cells and atoms is? Today we're diving into the fascinating world of the smallest units that make up our universe, cells and atoms. These tiny entities are the essence of everything you see around you. Cells, they're the smallest unit of life while atoms, they are the tiniest unit of matter. Intriguing, isn't it? So how are they different? How do they function? What makes them unique? Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of cells and atoms. Firstly, let's dive into the world of cells, the smallest unit of life. These microscopic powerhouses are not just dots under a microscope. Oh no, they are much more. Picture a bustling city, full of activity and purpose. That's what cells are like. In terms of size, cells are typically about 10 micrometers in diameter. To give you an idea, that's like the thickness of a piece of plastic wrap. Small but much larger than the atoms we'll discuss later. Now let's peel back the layers and peek into the structure of these cells. Inside you'll find various organelles, each performing a specific function. Think of them as the buildings in our city analogy. There's the nucleus, the command center, mitochondria, the power plants, and ribosomes, the factories, among others. These cells are the basic unit of life. They carry out all the functions necessary for life. They're responsible for metabolism, keeping us energized, reproduction, ensuring life continues, and growth, helping us develop and repair. And what are these cells made of? Molecules, which are in turn made up of atoms. The most common atoms in cells are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. These are the fundamental ingredients that make up the bustling city of life within each cell. So, cells are like complex cities, bustling with life and activity. Now, isn't that fascinating? Now, let's shrink down even further to explore atoms, the smallest unit of matter. Imagine the tiniest particle you can think of, then make it even smaller. That's the world of atoms. They are so minuscule that the average atom has a diameter of about 0.1 nanometers. Now, if you're not a fan of nanometers, think of it this way. If a single grape represented a cell, an atom would be the size of a speck of dust. Unlike cells, atoms are not made up of smaller parts. They're the fundamental pieces of the universe, the smallest unit of matter that retains the identity of an element. They don't have specialized structures like organelles. Instead, they consist of protons, neutrons, and electrons. But these aren't like the organelles in a cell. They don't carry out specific functions. Instead, they determine the atom's properties. Now, you might be thinking, if atoms don't have functions, then what's their purpose? Well, atoms might not do much on their own, but when they combine, they form molecules. These molecules can be as simple as a couple of hydrogen atoms, combining to form hydrogen gas, or as complex as the DNA in your cells, which contains billions of atoms. Atoms, therefore, are the building blocks, the bricks that construct everything we see around us. Now that we've explored both cells and atoms, let's summarize the key differences. In terms of size, cells tower over atoms. An average cell measures roughly 10 micrometers in diameter, whereas an atom is a mere 0.1 nanometers across. When we look at structure, cells are complex, composed of numerous specialized structures known as organelles. Atoms, contrastingly, aren't made up of smaller parts. Now, let's talk function. Cells are the basic units of life carrying out vital functions like metabolism, growth, and reproduction. Atoms, however, lack function on their own and only gain significance when they combine to form molecules. And finally, composition cells are made up of molecules, which in turn are formed by atoms. The most common atoms in cells are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. In essence, cells are the basic units of life, while atoms are the basic units of matter. So, we've seen that cells and atoms, though vastly different, are both fundamental to the existence of life as we know it. To recap, cells are larger, made up of organelles and responsible for life's functions, while atoms are smaller, simpler, and only gain significance when forming molecules. It's a fascinating world, isn't it? Dive deeper, explore further, unravel the mysteries of life at a cellular and atomic level. Keep asking questions and continue the journey of discovery. Until our next exploration, goodbye.